We talk about various ways that the color pink affects your health. And when you see pink in the toilet after going number one, it can obviously be frightening, and it should be, but you can't always tell. Is this pink? Is it from some blood in my urine? Could it be something that I ate? And it's important to know. It's definitely important to know. And blood in your urine or pink urine is called hematuria. And it's something you always want to tell your doctor about because we should investigate it. It could mean anything from a bladder infection to a kidney infection. Sometimes it can also um, be kidney cancers or tumors and that type of thing. So your urine is trying to tell you something. It doesn't necessarily mean something's bad because also, you know, when women have their periods, it can also make the um, urine red as well. So there's a lot of things you, you need to weed out that could be completely mm -hmm. normal. Um, but again, you need to check it out. You need to discuss it with your doctor because it could be a harbinger of something more serious. Exactly. And hematuria can be very subtle. You can see how this has a pinkish tone. Yeah, that's pretty right obvious. Here. There. This is pretty obvious. There's even something called microscopic hematuria where mm -hmm. you can only see the red blood cells under a microscope. So even a little change in color mm -hmm. could mean that you're spilling red blood cells. And yeah. even exercise. Sometimes really vigorous exercise can actually cause yeah. hematuria. And so. the microscopic hematuria, that's one of the reasons why we screen the urine, in kids at least, at every checkup to look for that, to look for blood in the urine that we can't see with the naked eye. Because mm -hmm. like in, in, in older people too, it could be a bladder infection, kidney infection, it could be something called hypercalciuria, which is too much calcium in the urine. Uh, or it could be kidney inflammation. And those are all things that are kind of silent in kids until they get really worse. Right. And so that's why we want to screen for them. And, but it, like you said, it doesn't always have to be anything bad. Even sometimes we've noticed uh, ha a child having a seatbelt on too tightly can cause a little bit of blood in the urine, but it goes away. It's mm -hmm. amazing how much information your doctor mm -hmm. can glean from a little urine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it, if your urine is pink, it may not be blood, though. It could be something that you're eating, mm -hmm. things like Beets, rhubarb, berries, even red dye can make your urine temporarily a little pink. But best thing is if your urine turns pink like this, go see your doctor. They can do an analysis of your urine and try to figure out what's going on. Of course, mm -hmm. if you've just had a bunch of these foods, it could be this.